okay so guys in my previous video i told you that the variable heat selector function of this smd rework station has gone bad and i need to fix it so in this video i'm going to fix it and also going to show you how it works so the main component that makes it to work is the transistor or triac that i am showing you on the screen it's a bta12600 triac that is on a to220 package its maximum current carrying capability is 12 ampere at 600 volts ac it basically works like a simple ac light dimmer circuit where the output power is reduced by chopping off a part of the ac waveform much like a dimmer circuit the gate trigger signal for the triac comes from a charging capacitor through a diac and then goes in the gate of the triac here a diode 1 and 4007 is also used in between the triac and diac so that only half of the AC wave gets in the triac for controlling which in turn reduces the power to half that is going in the heating element at the maximum heat setting of this rework station. So I am going to connect a 100 watt bulb into this output and show you that it does not control the intensity or it does not control the amount of current that it delivers so I have soldered two wires that is connected with this 100 watt bulb and now I'm going to test it so it's supposed to uh, dim this light just like a regular light dimmer but here you can see it's not doing anything So that is confirmed that the triac transistor is not good. So that's need to be replaced. So it's time to open the PCB. So let's get going. So the PCB is held by just two nuts that is on the potentiometers. So just pull out the knobs and lose all the cables. Open up the jacks and open the nuts on the potentiometers and that's it the circuit will easily come out so after opening it I'm going to test the triac with a multimeter in the continuity setting so normally triac has three terminals uh, A1, A2 and the gate so A stands for anode, anode 1 and anode 2 so if they are shorted that means this triac needs to be replaced so basically this type of circuits have two uh, dimmer type uh, setup so the transistor that I am checking it controls the heating element and there is another circuit with another transistor on the right side it controls the air pump and you can also see a relay so the relay actually switches the pump and uh, the heating element basically it's a sort of a timer but here the relay is not connected because it's cheaply made and it's a cheap uh, soldering station so as you just saw that uh, the transistor is shorted so I used my solder pump and then I pulled it out so here you can see it's a BTA12600 triac and it's dead short so let's replace it okay so the replacement part is here now I'm going to fix it so previously uh, there was no heat sink with this triac so now I'm going to make a heat sink and put it probably this was the reason why this triac failed so I'm going to use a small aluminium strip and I will cut a small piece out of it and make the heat sink So that should be enough to cool the triac. So I'm going to use the pointed attachment that came with my screwdriver set and I'm going to make the hole. It's a soft aluminium so it's very easy to make the hole. About 2 millimeter to 1.5 millimeter thick. 
so I sanded both the sides so that the heat transfer is efficient and I've also applied a little bit of thermal paste and I screwed it both both of them I screwed both of them together so now I'm going to solder it back on the board so using a little bit of flux I'm going to solder it and there you go it's completed now let's reassemble it so the fitting procedure is the same as we took it out just put that back in and tighten up the nuts on the potentiometers and then connect all the connectors and that's it only two jacks so now I'm going to put back the knobs make sure to turn the knobs to completely high or low and then put back the knobs so I'm going to retest it the same way as I did in the beginning of the video I will connect this 100 watt bulb and then I will show you how it works does it really dim the bulb so as the wave is uh, it's only half wave because there is a diode 1N4007 diode so it's going to be half wave so the bulb uh, is going to have half of its intensity and then the circuit chops the half wave that goes into the bulb and it drops furthermore the voltage drops furthermore and you can see it gets controlled really easily without any problem so that means the circuit is functioning and there is an LED which blinks which means if it blinks fast if it's blinking fast that means that the heat setting is high and if it's blinking slowly that means the setting is low so finally I've connected the wires that goes into the heating element and now I'm going to test it so in my previous video when I tested it I turned it on and the element went red hot like orange red orange color or reddish color bright red or orange whatever you call it so if I had kept it on for a little bit longer time then I'm sure that the element would have burned itself but now it's not that hot it's just purple pinkish color which means it's limited the current is limited and it's not heating up too much So here I'm doing the test that I did in my previous video, I tried to burn a piece of paper. So here you can see with the higher blowing rate, it does burn the paper. So now you can see it's glowing red hot. Although my phone does not show the color accurately, but it's orange red, uh, orange or red color like between the orange and red color and as I turn down the heat it turns into purple pink and if I turn it further down you can see the glowing is going out the glow is not there so after turning it all the way down it's not glowing at all and right now I'm worried because it's heating up my phone. So finally it's done. Now I'm going to reassemble it.
so this was the holder for the heating gun and it was cracked so i used a little bit of super glue and it's fixed so now i'm going to screw it onto the side of this reworking station smd reworking station and finally the work is done so this is how you can fix the circuit board of an smd rework station or hot air blower i hope you learned something from this video so thanks a lot for watching hit the like button share it with your friends and if you are new then subscribe to my channel so i'll see you soon have a nice day take care bye bye